is the PAC championship race, um, my last cross country race ever. And I am feeling really well. I'm excited. Um, we really have some potential to um, mix up those top three teams. And um, last race at Bethany, we were third, I believe. Um, so if we can each get a couple more spots, we're looking that we could take second, uh, which is really exciting. Um, we haven't really finished that well, um, as far as I can remember, in the past four years. Um, I think maybe we've placed fourth or third, not sure. Um, but really excited to hopefully grab that second place spot. Um, with the girls that I've been running the last four years with, um, and that would be something really special to end on for all of us. Um, so we're going back to Bethany. It's gonna be like uh, upper 50s, which is like perfect weather. Um, we did get pounded with rain on Wednesday, and I'm hoping that Bethany isn't super wet. Um, although I did hear that it is muddy or was muddy on Friday. Um, so hopefully the sun today kind of dries it up. We don't race till noon. Um, so we do have some time there. Um, last time we were there, the conditions were like almost perfect. So we're hoping that it can be close to that again. Uh, the course was like a whole minute faster than St. Vincent. So again, probably gonna be a fast race today, um, but we are excited and um probably gonna be some emotions today but um we're gonna leave it all out there one last time and as much as we're looking forward to it for it to not be you know our last race uh together but um we're we're gonna finish hard and and leave it all out there and we're gonna make it count so um super excited to see what we can do today um same with the men um, they have a full scoring team today, which is awesome. Um, they've kind of battled with numbers um, all year and um, they had some late, late injuries last week um, where for a minute there we didn't know if we were going to have everyone, but um, the guys pulled through and we've got our numbers and I'm excited to see what they can do today as well. Um, we were lucky to have Evan come back um, as a grad student this season and um, for outdoor track. So exciting to have him back for one last hurrah. And um, this will be his last race as well. So I'm sure he's gonna leave it all out there as well. And um, looking forward to see what um, some of our freshmen can do and um, see if they can run a little bit of a tighter pack today. But um, Good luck to them and everyone else in the team and super excited to get out there and we'll see you soon. Beautiful morning out. A little chilly, had some frost, but it's gonna warm up. It's gonna be a great day.
the downhill. You got this. Come on, Ian. Come on, Ian. Good job. Come on, Ian. Get him. You got it. Use the downhill. Oh, oh, oh. No one push me, please don't yeah. push me. <laughs> I told you. That was <laughs> beautiful day in Bethany, and thank you to all of you for, for being here, for being a part of this. This has been a challenging year for everybody, and, and certainly for no one as much as our student athletes. So we appreciate your perseverance and seeing this through, and we're glad to be here today to give you this, this championship opportunity. There's a few folks I want to thank before we get going here real quick. Our starter, Bruce Fry, the folks from runhigh.com. If you have not, do not have it on your phone, go to runhigh.com. All the final results are, are posted there already. They do a fantastic job here in the region. And finally, I want to thank the folks here at Bethany College who just went out of their way to give us a great, great course and great setting. We certainly want to thank the athletic training staff for their great work. We want to thank athletic director Steve Thompson, who is, he just bends over backwards to make a great experience down here. And I want to hear a round of applause for Bethany's head coach who put the course together for a ton of time there, Mike Wynn. Before we get to the uh, all PAC teams, uh, we want to take a few minutes, and we do this at all 23 of our championships to uh, honor the student athletes named this year's PAC sportsmanship team. The sportsmanship teams were established to recognize student athletes who have distinguished themselves through demonstrated acts of sportsmanship and ethical behavior, and as it's an ongoing effort to both recognize and encourage positive sportsmanship among all PAC teams and student athletes. So first we're going to do the women's team. I'd like to have you come forward. We're gonna get a group photo, socially distanced of course. Please wear your mask when you come forward. And then uh, we'll do the same thing for the men, and then we'll get to all conference. Let's have another right. For the all PAC second team for the women. Starting in 14th place, a senior from Grove City College, Michaela Higgins. <laughs> Finishing in 13th position, also a senior from Westminster College, Marie Bernard. <laughs> Finishing in 12th position, finishing in 5th with 127 points, Grove City College. <laughs> finishing in 4th place with 125 points, Westminster College. <laughs> finishing in 3rd place with... See the thing around your neck, girlfriend. I know. 